I'm going to have a look at how I can use a smoke cell to look at Brownian motion. And if we look here, that's the little hole, the little cell inside which I'm going to put smoke. I'm going to cover that up and then we've got a light bulb here and a little bit of plastic which focuses light to come across onto the smoke there. Um, so in a moment we'll connect that up to a power supply to make the light work. Okay, so if we pop that there, now we need to fill up the smoke cell with smoke. And the easiest way to do that is to use a piece of paper straw. There we go. And we can pop that over the smoke cell and wait a bit of time for plenty of smoke to get into there. And then we can carefully put a cover slip over the, the top of the smoke cell to keep the smoke trapped in there. Now, for your microscope, you don't need the light on in the microscope because the smoke cell is going to be connected up to the power supply and turned on. But what you do need is a microscope which has plenty of space between the <coughs> um, stage and the lens. And this one is on the times 10 setting. And having put it onto the times 10 setting, I now need to carefully line it up so that the smoke cell is under there and then I'm going to lower it down until I'm as close as I can be without crushing the cover slip and once I've done that I can start looking through the microscope make the fine adjustments so that I can start to see the bright little specks which are the smoke which I can see so now I can get my other camera and record that for you to see and that's looking really good.